the book of Proverbs chapter 30, verse 11. It says, there is a generation that cursed their father and do it not bless their mother. There is a generation that appear in their own eyes is not washed from their filthiness. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes and their eyes are lifted up. Okay, first and foremost, I want to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rikaha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and salutation to the Akhmet that's pushing the truth and sincerity. And Lord willing, this video be edifying first and foremost to the whole elect and to those that cleave to the body. And in today's lesson, the topic, I just want to cover the fact of our children, preferably the children of Israel, because the scripture that I read, all right, it does goes into the, 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 the wicked, okay, but uh, the just generation is of their father, the devil. All right, they follow all his ways. They're in love. You know, they're 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 connected to him with his uh, unfiltheredness and his uncleanness. All right, and they follow all the ways that they have set. Every stage that they have set for Jake to follow, that's what they do, man. All right, Jake have learned the ways of the oppressor. All right, which have condemned them spiritually. You see that they flesh may blossom and bloom, because all Jake is is a hundred percent flesh, man. When you look at these rappers and, and, and video game players and, you know, the Generation X mainly talking about the 90 babies, all right? I'm going to get into an article that basically speak about, you know, these things that basically hypnotize our children and kids, man. But the scriptures also speak about them. You see, this is uh, second address on five and eight, just to, just, just to get it jumped off, all right? It says... There shall be found confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be often sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and this is the point, and mistress women shall bring forth monsters, all right? And a brother put a, uh, put a video in the WhatsApp um, showing Jake, you know, Jake, eight, a nine-year-old crip, man. Throwing up the gang signs, smoking weed, driving cars. All right. This generation is the generation of no hope, man. When you get generation X, meaning generation, generation crucified, meaning what? This generation is going to be X'd out, man. All right. The worst of the worst of, of Israel is being sent down, man, for this final go round. All right. That they may seek their judgment. All right. So this generation is not a generation that, that seek the uh, will of the Lord, but they, they are lofty and high in their own eyes. I'm going to read it again. It's Proverbs 3 and 11. There's a generation that cursed their mother and do it not bless their father because this generation, the son is against the father, the father against the son, which we understand that it is curses on us, all right? But hey, as men of the Lord, we, are, we know that you are to honor thy father and thy mother, man. Regardless if they're in a certain condition, the crackheads or whatever it may be, we still got commandments from the Lord to hold that down, but not to air off according to our parents if they tell us to air off from the truth, all right? Or going away that's not right or not a part of the scriptures, man. It says there's a generation that appear in their own eyes, you see? And yet it's not washed from their filthiness, man, all right? A man is clean in his own eyes, meaning he's clean in a way that he see he see things things are going. But this dirty world have given have given our people the understanding that it's a clean way. Though yet it's a dirty world, it's a clean way if you live in it. There's no such thing as getting something that's dirty and you're clean and not get dirty, man. You see? But they're fooled by the the the, the TVs. The music videos, the the, the 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 jakes that E is pumping, pushing out you to control the minds of the people, man. And everybody won't be like NBA young boy, man. All right, who is, that's totally demonic, man. All right, this guy is totally demonic, man. You can see the spirits oozing off him, man. All right, because this generation is a generation who uh 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 they uh they gates. Have language, man, language, man, which meaning what the elders have ceased. These young men growing up, 
They don't have anybody to guide them, man. And they're not into the scriptures, all right? They don't care anything about Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So when you do tell them what they're going to do, hey, Jacob pull a gun out on you, man. You try to tell them to correct his life because they're corrupt with wickedness, man. They're corrupted with the mind. They're in full reprobate mode. You see? Just look on TV, man. You'll see these little mistress monsters running around. And guess what? It's a result of their father, man. Because their fathers haven't seen the heavenly father and his son, man. All right? So it's just going to be a generation of mishaps. You know, just steady re repeating itself, man. All right? And that's what's happening out here, man. This is uh, Psalms. This won't be long. Just a little, you know, impromptu before I pretty much go to camp just to get in the spirit. All right? This is uh, Psalms. 78 and in 8 it says I'm going to start from 5 because it's all good well I'm going to read from 3 well 2 I will open my mouth in a parable and I will utter dark sands of old because these dark signs, which is the, the scriptures, these are the, the words of old that uh, taught us in the paths that we should go and walk on. It says, which we have heard and known. You see, what we have heard and known in Israel as a nation of people, the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, to constantly what? Walk in them. All right? To what? Put them on the tab tables of your heart. All right? It says, <clears throat> which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. Hey, since, since our fathers fell asleep, Jake done been what? Bread in wickedness, man. All right? Jake's mind has been in madness, man. All right? The mass majority of Jake. All right? Because there's a remnant of Jake who have what? Uh, remembered the old paths according to Jeremiah 6 and 16 and have walked therein. You see? This is four. We will not hide them from their children. Showing to the generation to come the praises of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and his strength and his wonderful works that he had done. Because this generation have forgotten the miraculous acts of our fathers, man. They're a forward generation. They don't read, all right? They don't comprehend anything. It's only drugs and entertainment, man. All right? This is a generation that is full of their own self, man. All right? They're 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 uh, self full of self and self uh and and you know just just gone man. It says for he had established a testimony in Jacob, all right. Jacob, which is makes is the father of the twelve tribes, man, and appointed a law in Israel, okay. Which uh, of course you know you get Jacob in Israel, which you know also represents the northern and southern kingdom as well, which he commanded our fathers. That they should make that make them known to their children. Now, who is raising up a child in the way that they, they should go? What men on the planet Earth is doing that, man? Only the men of the Lord. They're teaching their Lord, their sons, and you know, daughters or whoever, family members or whoever are willing to hawk into the word of the Lord and truly believe the ways that they should walk and to remember the ways of old, man. All right. It says. That the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children. And they don't even know the word of the Lord. They don't know the name of the Lord. They don't know what's expected of them of the Lord. They're just living every day, okay, uh, according to their own will, which is bugness, man. It says that they might set their hope in Yahweh which is their expectations, and not forget the works of Yahweh, but keep his commandments. The commandments are long gone from our people, man. Look at the, 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 the foundation of our people, which is, you know, the man, because we're the majority. Look at the majority of our people, man. All right, but the Lord set a foundation in Israel that was going to praise him and remember him in the land of their captivities, where they should remember themselves, man, according to the book of Baruch. It says, and might not be as their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation. A, a generation that's set in their own ways and just war against God, man. 
And the war against God is to be contrary to his law, statutes, and commandments. All right? That automatically by default make you an antichrist, man. Okay? So there's many antichrists, billions of them, man, that's walking the earth. It says, a generation that set not their heart aright and whose spirit was not steadfast with Yahweh, man. So this nation, this whole generation of people, heart is not steadfast with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Meaning what? Stayed upon. All right? Meaning what? Their, their mind is kept up on him. Their mind is occupied in prophecy. All right? Being what? Uh, uh, being doers of his law and not heroes only because they hit them prophets. But what they do? They shun the hand. They hiss at them. You see? I'm going to read that again. Psalm 7, 8, and 8. It might not be as their fathers a stubborn and rebellious generation which got them what? Debt, agony, captivity. All right? A generation that set not their heart aright and whose spirit was not steadfast with Yahweh, man. So this is the results of a forward generation, man. And our people are gone, all right, on every level. This Psalms 95. And I'm going to start at eight. Hard not your heart as in the provocation and and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. Because for 40 years, the law walked around the elders, you know, uh, uh, of Israel who murmured amongst themselves and who just wasn't willing to do what thus says the Lord because they ain't feel like it or they wasn't where they wanted to be or whatever the case may be until he killed them off. So their hearts was hard, man, and stubborn in their wickedness. You see? It says, when your fathers tempt me, prove me and saw my work. Because they did tempt the Lord. The Lord broke the ground on them. You know, there's several things the Lord did to them, man. All right? It says, 40 years long was I grieved with this generation. Meaning what? A season and a time. So the Lord is at his height. All right? And uh, Jake and Jake iniquity, man. Not for as much as the, the, the other nations. Because only the righteous... The, the, the righteous people, which is the Israelites as a whole, can sin against Yahweh, man. It says, 40 years long was I grieved with this generation. So how much more in the wilderness, all right, when, when we was uh, uh, much more in statue and, you know, and much more into our laws into different things than we are now, how much more the law with this generation, man? And said, it is a people that do and their heart and they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. So the Lord swear that this generation will not enter into his rest until he chastised them and bruised them, all right, and beat them to death, man. And then they're going to be restarted and renewed with the love of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah after that. So the Lord said, I swear in my wrath, man, to the generation X, man. You see? This is uh, <laughs> the Lord pissed off, man. He going he going to fuck these children of the earth up, man. You little Israelite little monsters, man. This is on um, Jeremiah 2 and 31. I'm going to read uh 30. In vain have I smitten your children, they receive no correction. Your own sword had devoured your prophets like a destroying lion. O generation, see the word of Yahweh. Have I been a wilderness unto Israel, a land of darkness? Wherefore say my people, we are lords. We will come no more unto thee, man. So they, hey, every man in their own mind thinking they're actually God himself, man. And say, we ain't coming no more to the Lord or to the law, statutes, and commandments. You tell Jacob about the law, statutes, and commandments, he's going to despise you. He might pull a gun out on you and shoot you, man. That's how far gone our people is, man. But the scripture say, I believe it's Proverbs 29. It says, let me, let me get it. I'm going to paraphrase it, right? I'm going to just go and get it. It's Proverbs uh, 29 and 1. 
He that being often reproved, hardened his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed. And that without remedy. It ain't going to be no medicine for this pain, Jake, that's about to come around. The Lord said, I swear unto my wrath, you will not enter into my rest. Unpunished, man. You see? You will not enter in. Unpunished. In that order. The Lord ain't fucking around, man. You see? With this entire generation, man. With the substance of his of his own of his prophets, man, that he gonna have mercy on. This is a uh, second Edwards eight and uh thirty four. It said, "For what is man that thou shouldest take pleasure at him, or what is a corruptible generation that shouldest be so bitter towards it, man?" It says, "For in truth there is no man among them that be born." But he had dealt wickedly. And among the faithful, there was none which had not done amiss. So the mass majority of this generation is wicked, man, in their own way. All right? But I'm going to jump to third eight. For indeed, I would not think on, on the disposition of them which have sinned before death, before judgment, before destruction. But I will rejoice over the disposition of the righteous and will remember also their pilgrim pilgrimage and the salvation and the reward that they shall have. So the Lord going to focus on the reward for the righteous and, and, and focus on the, the, the uh, ass whipping for the wicked, man. And the wicked fall under Generation X, under that title, man. You know? Because this is, remember, this is a forward generation, man. Let me see if I could, let me see. Forward, Salaki. Yup, this Deuteronomy 32 and 20. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be. Because the end, a hey, mark the perfect man, for the end of that man is peace. Perfect goes into complete. We have, have completely. Turned his life around and, and, and uh, submitted himself unto the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It says, For they are a very froward generation, children, children in whom is no faith, man. So, Generation X is a, a generation of children whom is no faith, man, who have forgotten the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And because of that, they're going to have to fill that on. Um, uh, uh, that that ultimate wrath of the Lord, man, and that own, um, and that and that power and that pain of punishment, man. You see, the Lord said that without remedy is how I'm gonna punish them, man. Meaning what? I ain't gonna have no mercy on them, man. For they didn't have no mercy on themselves, man. All right, they didn't give a fuck about me. So why should I? All right. This Romans 10 and 3, for they being ignorant of Yahweh's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High, man. You see? So guess what? Hey, they're going to be in a time, the Lord going to treat them like in the time of Moses, man, when he said on, on the, the, uh, in, in Hebrews, I think it's 10 and 31, that they just despise Moses' law, uh, Died under two or, two or three witnesses, man. With no mercy. Pretty much the Lord ain't gonna have no mercy on you, man. All right? So with that, man, until the next time, I'm gonna say shalom.